Hello again from Hearts at War. Um, just another short video um, as part of the series that we're um, currently putting together, trying to document some of the items that we have here at the uh, at the collection. So in front of us, we've got uh, two items this time. Um, the top one being the British uh, SMLE Number no. Three Mark One Lee Enfield uh, rifle bayonet, and the one underneath being the German um, first pattern. Uh, 1898 uh, Gewehr 98 uh, bayonet to attach to the uh, to the Mauser rifle. So as you can see, both um, not in the best of conditions. The um, the top, the Lee Enfield one that we're looking at here, um, is a ground dug example that was pulled up from a battlefield on the Western Front some uh, a decade and a half ago. And the butcher blade, which again, if you can see a fair amount of the pitted metal and a bit of corrosion going on there. Um, Again, has been in the ground a similar sort of period of time, so both of uh, both of these have been used uh, used in in action, and uh, we, we always find it quite fascinating to think what the stories behind them might be. Um, as you might have noticed, the Lee Enfield bayonet is a uh, longer, about eight centimeters longer than this uh, than this German butcher blade, and uh, one of the main reasons behind that being is that the um, the Enfield rifle being produced after the K98. The um, makers had the advantage of knowing the length of the of the uh, opposition rifle. Obviously, not knowing that they will be fighting the Germans at that time. But then again, it's always a, a good idea to keep an eye on what your uh, other European nations are doing. And so, the um, Lee Enfield bayonet was uh, made longer to compensate for the shorter rifle. And so, both rifles with the bayonet fixed are approximately the same length. Um, the uh, the Lee Enfield been slightly uh, slightly longer, but not much in it. So uh, really nice items, and uh, you know I'm sure they've got a story to tell. It's it's a shame that when we see these kind of things, we can never be a hundred percent certain of exactly what they've been up to. But uh, quite interesting all the same, and uh, a good example of a few of the things that are available here at the uh, the Hearts of War exhibition. So thanks very much.